Hi New Doxa, we truly hope that you enjoyed our missionaries and their stories. And we trust that it built your faith and that it give you a sense of the reality that if you're part of New Doxa, you are making an impact all over the world. Then important, we have a missions conference on the 18th and 25th of October. Uh, this At this function, we'll be listening to world-class speakers, uh, Mike Bernard, Dominisaki Weber. And on the 18th of October, we also want to invite you to our missions lunch. It will be a braai. Everyone is welcome. It's for free. And it's our way of saying thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness in the year that's passed. May God bless you. Hello, new doxa. Such a privilege to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we trust that in the past two weeks, we could meet some of our missionaries, um, heard their stories, that it was a blessing and that it strengthened your faith. But today I want to tell the story of one of the greatest missionaries ever. And his name was Jesus Christ. He was on mission to seek and save the lost. And there's a story in John where Jesus was traveling through Samaria and while at the well he was sitting there and his disciples went to town with a very important task. They went to get food for Christ. But when they came back, while they were away, Jesus engaged a lady. She came when it was hot, around about 12 o'clock to get water. That was also unheard of. And then Jesus started to engage this lady and um, asked her for water. And then he told her, if you knew who was asking you for water, you would ask me for water. I will give you living water and you will never thirst again. She said, yes, give me that water. And then Christ confronts her with her sin. And the fact that she lived a licentious life. And she discovers Christ and she gave her heart to it. She realized who he was. He was the Messiah. So she came to faith. But when the disciples came there and saw him, Jesus speaking to her, they found it awkward. What, how can a Jew speak to a Samaritan? Samarian? And um, then Jesus Christ confront the disciples. You see, they were blind. They couldn't see. They couldn't see the need of for Christ that people had. And in verse 35, he confronts them in this way. He says to them, Look, I tell you, raise your eyes. See, you're missing something. And observe the fields and see how they are already white for harvest. You are missing a harvest. And there's many reasons why they missed it. They were busy. They were went to get food for Christ. That was important. Many times in our lives, we also get so busy. As a pastor, we can, can get so sucked into administration and the busyness of life that we miss the harvest. And Christ focuses his disciples' attention on the harvest. And this week, in God wants to focus our attention on the harvest. Do we realize that if somebody dies without Christ, they are lost forever? Jesus is not a way. He is the only way. And as a church, especially in Eudoxa, we've took responsibility to take the gospel to areas where it's not available. To plant churches, to make a difference, to support missionaries. And thank you that you are part of God's dream of seeking and saving the lost. So we want to invite you to our service on Sunday morning. We want to invite you to the meal afterwards. Please book. Uh, we want to see you there. It's going to be a festive celebration of God's kingdom coming to this earth. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, may we never lose our heart. May we never lose sight of the harvest. Use us. Bless us. 
Stir our hearts so that we will see and seek the lost. Thank you for the privilege as near Doxa to be part of your kingdom and its growth. Bless each one. We pray for our services. We pray for our missionaries. May they experience your blessing in this time. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless and thank you that you listen. Bye-bye.